Family and friends are mourning a young mother shot and killed yesterday in Denton. 19 year old Cassidy Hinojosa died. Police arrested her boyfriend Simeon Bonilla after he had someone call him an Uber to escape from the scene. Fox 4's Macy Jenkins is with us tonight with more. Macy. Stephen Heather, yes, Stephen Heather, Bonilla is charged with the murder of 19 year old Cassidy Hinojosa, his girlfriend with whom police say he lived. He is here at Denton County Jail being held on a half million dollar bond. The fact that somebody just killed somebody and hopped into a rideshare program is terrifying. Right. 22 year old Simeon Bonilla is behind bars after police say he shot and killed his 19 year old girlfriend, Cassidy Hinojosa crashed his car in Denton and fled to Dallas in an Uber. Neighbors shocked to hear what happened. It's scary. Yeah. It's very scary. Denton police got a call Wednesday afternoon about a car that had crashed on I 35 E near McCormick Street in Denton. The caller said they saw a man forcing a woman covered in blood into the car. When police arrived, they found Hinojosa in the car with multiple gunshot wounds. She was taken to a nearby hospital where she was pronounced dead. I feel for her family. Meanwhile, police say Benia fled the scene and asked a bystander for help. That person ordered an Uber ride for Benia to Dallas. You know, the citizen, they were just trying to help someone they thought was in need of help and didn't realize what was going on. Denton Police Deputy Chief Frank Paget says the officers on the scene were able to use the app to track Benia to Dallas. The Uber driver never knew anything was, was wrong at all. And, and was not harmed. Denton police contacted Dallas police, who located Benia after getting out of the Uber and took him into custody. Police say it's still unclear whether or not Benia initially shot Hinojosa in the car or at their apartment a few miles away. Benia had been arrested before on felony robbery and theft charges, but police say they had no record of any domestic disputes between the two. It's horrible. You know, a 19 uh, year old woman and she's gone. You know, her life was just beginning. And a friend of Hinojosa says her family is planning a vigil, a candlelight vigil on Saturday night in Denton in her honor.